Well, got that thing hung. So one step closer, got the main chopper hung, and yeah, it played out exactly like I thought it would. So it's kind of it's kind of like the conversation piece, which is what I planned for this whole shop to be. So that's like step number one. Kind of take that, multiply it by like about 15. That's what I'm gonna have when I'm done. All right, so I ran out of argon, which I was kind of right to the last little bit when I was working on the Bibster, uh, doing that uh, piping on that thing. But luckily today, went and got some more, went to the welding shop, filled up all my tanks. So I'm ready to rock and roll. A couple things I think I'm looking at doing. So I think I'm going to make some bracing that kind of ties into here and goes out to the strut tower. A couple reasons, obviously minimize flex out here, and then I can use it also to kind of help set the camber too. And I'm just gonna use some one inch, some himes, look at them himes, that's some Kilfab, Kilfab logoed himes, you know you like that. So anyway, I think these things will probably go out here, something like this. And uh, do something similar on the other side and kind of tie all that together. Obviously everything on this thing has to be finish welded as far as the exhaust goes. So all this hot side piping will have to be finish welded. But what I want to do is I'm going to wait until, so this motor, I've mentioned it before, this motor is not the short block, is the actual short block that I'll be running the Bibster, but I want to go through it. So I haven't even looked inside this thing. I don't even know if it's any good, to be honest with you. So I'm going to take it out very soon. Uh, all this motor trans, everything's going to come out. It's all just mocked up right now. I got to do the firewall on this thing. Um, I got to do some cooling, cooling pipes. I got to do some hydraulic lines. There's a bunch of stuff I got to do. So engine transmission will come out with the turbo setup. And um, I'll go through the motor, make sure all that's good. Maybe girdle it. And then new cylinder heads, gonna go with some aluminum cylinder heads on this thing, new cylinder heads, and then I'll kind of like permanently start mounting everything together and officially make the carbon upper intake. We'll start getting, getting to work on that thing very soon. Uh, it'll be like a aluminum sheet metal lower. Well, technically it's a cast lower. This section will be aluminum sheet metal and then the whole upper section will be carbon. So I'm gonna have to make a mold. You'll see that process. Uh, lay the carbon, a bunch of layers of carbon. You'll see that. I'll show you the whole build in depth for sure. So anyway, I'm not gonna weld this tubing up. I'll wait till the new cylinder heads and stuff are on there because they may be a slightly different thickness. The actual exhaust ports may be a little bit higher. There may be a little bit of a difference. And so just to make sure they don't have to make any adjustments. Uh, I'll wait to weld all that stuff up until I start putting it back for the final time. The good thing is because it's all together, the turbo is mounted to the, to the engine itself, I can really do everything on a stand, put it all together 100%, and then when it's time, just slide the whole bad boy back in there. Even like these pieces, I wanna go in here and finish all these up. I'll probably make some caps for these two pieces of time together. And I'm gonna have to make this where it's all removable. Like these vent pieces are gonna have to come out on both sides and then this piece will be, uh, will have to be able to come out separately just so I can access the radiator if I ever need to. So probably do some kind of cap screws through here. All this will be riveted together up top, most likely and then maybe like some Zeus fasteners and then 
obviously I gotta trim this and modify the filler neck on the radiator like I'll probably just have that thing kind of bend and come out and sit something like that and then I'll make filler pieces that kind of come on and fill all this stuff one of the other things I haven't talked about or even started yet is that uh, besides sheet metal this back half is not even close to done so I'm gonna actually bring the tubes themselves out and do some kind of tubular bumper setup that will probably just be more of a skeleton style setup may have some sheet metal in it I need a place to hang like the the tag and some tail lights and for safety reasons I need some sort of, of bumper too but my plan is not to come out past the rear tires I kind of like that look of these big rear tires so it'll probably kind of tie right in there somewhere so anyway since we're not working on the bibster I got another little project I want to do um, back on this other shop so you can't really judge my mess because I'm still in a half put together shop well you can judge me but you shouldn't been putting in the work it's been paying off it's just a slow process so anyway one of the things I wanted to do in this video was I need some more light in this space um, that's gonna be kind of the recurring theme going forward like I said I got something I got a big marquee sign that's gonna go up there that'll be some ambient light um, I'm gonna do it the same color temperature as the light I've done up top up top and then I'm gonna make a marquee sign for this wall over here uh, I'll do videos on that one as well I've already started buying some of the parts and I've got an idea of an sign that I well I've got an idea for an exact sign that I want to make but right now I think over in this corner on this whiskey barrel I need a sign I found something on Amazon the other day that I was like man you know what that'll fit perfect there and for the price I couldn't have sourced really the parts myself at least I didn't feel like I could source the parts myself to make it so as we all do, I put it in my shopping cart. And then bought some of these vintage LED bulbs, same kind of bulbs I got up top. Uh, everything I'm doing in this shop is uh, LED. I'm trying to save power. Currently my power bill down here is under 50 bucks. And I have a feeling that most of that is because there's a minimum charge for my power company. But yeah, see it looks like an Edison style bulb, but it's all LED. And I get them around like 3500 color temperature in this room. The office, the ones you see back here in the office, those are like uh, 6000, I think. They are adjustable, although I like them nice and bright. So, let's leave them that way. Some LED strips. So the plans are to throw this thing together right quick. I'm actually gonna have my kids help me do this. But it's past the right time. So that's the kit there. It's just basically gonna be a pipe lamp. Oh, I thought this was LED stuff. It's not. All right, I guess first things first, I need to uh, work my way backwards on this thing.
Sweet. So that's pretty much it. Now I just gotta make sure I don't get electrocuted. Hopefully it's all together, right? Yo! This thing even has a dimmer on it. All right, well, there you go. A little light, cool little steampunk style light for like around the $20 mark. I don't know how I'm gonna decorate it. To be honest with you, I don't even know what these are for, but I'll figure it out, right? Some point. Anyway, kind of fits the theme. It was a quick little deal. Like I said, the kit was, it was easier for me to just buy it. it took me like, four or five minutes to put it together. Um, there's actually several of these kind of kits. So they had some that kind of like looped totally around. They had all kinds. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to go check them out. One more thing, one more step. One more step into getting this thing finished. Got all my badges out the other day. Fabtech, ponies, Mac tools. Spatuno, anybody know what that is? YouTube, me and Heather went to YouTube a couple times. SEMA. Speaking of SEMA, I will be there in Vegas in like two weeks. If you're coming, hit me up while you're out there. Maybe I'll kind of, maybe we'll do like a little meet and greet or I don't know, just meet up, you can buy me a beer or something. Anyway. There you go, a little light, quick little video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. I think I've got another Friday tool video for you too. Peace.